Normally, long-haul travel comes with trade-offs forcing passengers to accept inconvenience as an unavoidable part of global travel, dozens of hours in the air, multiple exhausting layovers and the fatigue of jet lag. But now everything is about to change. Qantas's Project Sunrise is creating a global buzz with a groundbreaking milestone that promises a radical revolution. By deploying specially configured Airbus A350-1000 aircraft on non-stop routes lasting over 20 hours, Qantas is not only erasing geographical boundaries but also redefining the first-class travel experience. So what can passengers expect from this long-awaited program, and how can the A350-1000 redefine the standards of ultra-long-haul flying? Let's find out. Imagine an intercontinental journey that saves up to four hours of flight time eliminating the fatigue of unnecessary layovers. A non-stop flight lasting up to 22 hours yet still allowing passengers to move comfortably relax and minimize the effects of jet lag. This is no longer a distant vision but a reality taking shape right now 16,000 kilometers away inside a massive industrial facility. Amid the hustle of Airbus's assembly lines in Toulouse Qantas has achieved a historic milestone for Project Sunrise, a vision set to redefine global aviation. The first Airbus A350-1000 ULR, the ultra-long range variant that will connect Australia's east coast, specifically Sydney and Melbourne, to faraway cities such as London and New York without stopping, is rapidly nearing completion. This marks a major step forward bringing Qantas closer to launching the world's longest commercial flights. What truly sets the A350-1000 ULR apart is the technological innovation behind it. Airbus engineers have pushed the boundaries of lightweight materials using more than 70% advanced composites and titanium to reduce fuel burn and improve range efficiency. Combined with the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines, among the most efficient turbofans ever built, the aircraft achieves a fuel consumption reduction of up to 25% compared with earlier long-range jets. To manage the demands of a 22-hour flight, Airbus has also integrated upgraded pressurization and humidity control systems, ensuring cabin air remains fresh and comfortable throughout the journey. Even the cabin insulation has been re-engineered to minimize vibration and noise, offering passengers a calmer, quieter space for rest. Together, these advancements demonstrate that the limits of ultra-long-haul flight are not only being tested, they are being redefined. The Australian flag carrier and Airbus have just shared the first images of this ultra-long-range jet, confirming that all key structural stages are complete. All major components, including the forward center and aft fuselage sections, wings, tail, and landing gear have now been assembled. The specially configured A350-1000 ULR features a distinctive 20,000-liter rear center fuel tank and advanced systems that enable continuous flight of up to 22 hours. The aircraft will soon move on to engine installation and test equipment fitting with detailed flight testing scheduled to begin in 2026. The carrier expects to receive the first of its 12 ordered A350-1000 ULRs by the end of 2026, with commercial service planned for the first half of 2027. These aircraft are not merely transportation tools, they are the cornerstone of Qantas's next-generation long-haul fleet turning once-impossible non-stop connections into reality. By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. Indeed, if ultra-long-haul travel is a challenge, Qantas has found inspiration in its own legendary history to face it head-on. Project Sunrise is not a random name. It's inherited from the iconic double sunrise missions of World War II when aircraft flew across the Indian Ocean long enough for the crew and passengers to witness two sunrises, an enduring symbol of transcending distance. The partnership with the University of Sydney's Charles Perkins Center has been one of the most data-driven research efforts in aviation history. Over several test flights, researchers measured passengers' melatonin levels, hydration patterns, and reaction times to better understand how the human body responds to near-24-hour travel. The results directly shaped Qantas's onboard service design, from when coffee is served to the balance of carbohydrates and proteins in each meal. Even the cabin lighting system mimics the natural progression of daylight and dusk to help reset passengers' body clocks. This scientific precision transforms Project Sunrise from a feat of engineering into a holistic study of human well-being in the sky. Today, the modern version of that mission is being reimagined to redefine the concept of ultra-long-distance travel in a completely new era. Qantas Group CEO Vanessa Hudson describes this as a turning point for the airline, emphasizing that this legacy of overcoming distance barriers is being continued with a move that will fundamentally change how our customers travel around the world. The secret lies not only in aircraft technology, but also in the science of sleep and well-being. 
The carrier is heavily investing in scientific research from the Charles Perkins Center at the University of Sydney to enhance passenger health, reduce jet lag fatigue, and reshape the experience of nearly day-long flights. So how does Qantas turn a 22-hour journey into a comfortable experience? The answer lies in cabin design. The airline has partnered with Australian designer David Kayon to create an exclusive passenger-centered environment. While most A350-1000 aircraft typically seat more than 300 passengers, the carrier has chosen to configure its ULR version with only 238 seats for maximum comfort. But the most intriguing feature is something never seen before the dedicated well-being zone. Positioned strategically between premium economy and economy class, this is the world's first dedicated well-being zone integrated onboard a commercial aircraft. With sculpted surfaces, it allows passengers to stand, stretch, hydrate, and follow guided movement exercises displayed on an integrated screen. Moreover, it combines smart cabin design, controlled exposure to lighting, and scientifically timed meal services, all tailored to support passengers' natural circadian rhythms. These are the hidden ingredients promising to revolutionize the world of ultra-long-haul flying. However, the true showstopper lies in the cabin upgrades across all classes. First class has been redefined into six individual private suites, each over 50% larger than those on the A380. Every suite features a two-meter fully flat bed, a separate reclining lounge chair, a personal wardrobe, and a 32-inch entertainment screen, setting a new benchmark for luxury in the skies. Meanwhile, even economy class has been completely redesigned, offering a seat pitch of up to 33 inches, making it one of the most spacious economy seats in the world on an A350. Every aspect of the cabin design from circadian rhythm-based lighting and strategically timed protein-carbohydrate-rich meals to HEPA air filtration systems has been scientifically calibrated to minimize post-flight fatigue. Project Sunrise isn't just about flying non-stop, it's about flying non-stop and touching down in the best possible physical condition. However, Qantas's focus on in-flight comfort isn't limited to the ultra-long-haul journeys of Project Sunrise. The airline understands that comfort is a universal priority for all passengers, whether flying across continents or on short domestic routes. That's why alongside its efforts to conquer the skies with record-breaking long-haul flights, the Australian carrier is introducing a revolutionary new travel class across its domestic and short-haul fleet, Economy Plus. This new class is designed to redefine the flying experience across all categories, offering exceptional comfort and flexibility for passengers. Economy Plus will feature expanded personal space, including up to 40% more legroom than standard economy, a significant improvement even on shorter routes. Passengers will also enjoy enhanced privileges such as priority boarding and exclusive overhead storage compartments. CEO Vanessa Hudson described Economy Plus as a major step forward for the airline expanding choice and comfort, emphasizing that the initiative enhances the aspects passengers value most personal space, convenience, and loyalty. Notably, the new cabin will be strategically positioned between standard economy and business class, perfectly suited for both frequent travelers and corporate passengers, seeking extra comfort without paying the premium cost of business class. It's a strategic addition that fills a key service gap while maintaining overall efficiency. The introduction of Economy Plus also reflects a growing global trend airlines redefining the middle tier of air travel. Competitors like United Lufthansa and Singapore Airlines have all experimented with premium economy concepts, but Qantas's approach is distinct in its balance between comfort and efficiency. Rather than simply adding legroom, the airline is introducing an entirely new in-flight experience enhanced catering options, upgraded seat cushioning, and high-speed in-flight Wi-Fi that will be rolled out across its network by 2026. In doing so, the airline aims to attract both leisure and corporate travelers who seek more comfort without stepping into the luxury pricing bracket. The rollout of this new product forms an integral part of Qantas's broader fleet modernization strategy. Economy Plus will be standard on the airline's next-generation aircraft, including 48 Airbus A321XLRs and 29 Airbus A220s. The first two A321XLRs have already entered service on domestic routes, with another expected to join by the end of this year. It is also actively reconfiguring its existing fleet with Boeing 737 aircraft set to begin receiving Economy Plus installations from December 20, 25. As Hudson emphasized, this initiative reflects the Australian carrier's continued investment in enhancing onboard comfort and ensuring a consistently superior travel experience across its entire network from Australia and New Zealand to the Pacific Islands. The launch of Economy Plus proves that this airline isn't just reshaping the future of ultra-long-haul travel, it's redefining the very standard of comfort and service for every journey. Project Sunrise is far more than just a new flight route. 
It is a groundbreaking experiment, living proof that air travel can eliminate geographical boundaries without compromising passenger health. The success of this project will open the door to the commercialization of other non-stop ultra-long-haul routes around the world, a development closely watched by major airlines as they look to reshape global route networks. Qantas's decision to choose the Airbus A350-1000ULR marks a significant victory for Airbus in the wide-body market share battle. However, Sunrise's ambitious vision has simultaneously reignited fierce competition between the world's two aerospace giants. Airbus's main rival Boeing is currently developing the 777X, which is expected to become a direct competitor in the ultra-long-haul segment. While Qantas has sided with Airbus, the rivalry between the A350 and the 777X will shape how airlines operate the world's longest routes in the coming decade. Beyond the race for range and endurance, the true significance of Project Sunrise lies in placing passenger health and experience at the heart of aircraft design from the well-being zone to collaborations with sleep scientists. This marks a paradigm shift that forces the global aviation industry to evolve moving away from maximizing seat density toward optimizing travel experience. With its legendary double sunrise legacy, the carrier once again asserts its pioneering role not just as a bridge between Australia and the world, but as a trendsetter defining the future of air travel. As the aviation industry faces growing pressure to reduce carbon emissions, Project Sunrise may also serve as a proving ground for more sustainable operations. Airbus and Qantas are collaborating to ensure that every flight under the Sunrise program can operate on up to 100% sustainable aviation fuel by the early 2030s. Future iterations of the A350 ULR could even incorporate hybrid electric systems or lightweight hydrogen storage technology. What began as a quest to conquer distance could ultimately become the foundation for a greener and more connected future in aviation. From the assembly lines in Toulouse to its domestic rollout plans, Qantas is embarking on a historic fleet transformation. Project Sunrise and the launch of Economy Plus represent two sides of one unified strategy prioritizing passenger experience and well-being across all routes, whether long or short. Through the combination of cutting-edge aerospace technology cabin design, grounded in sleep science and diversified seating options, the airline is not only breaking distance records, but also setting a new global standard for comfort in modern air travel. Are you ready to experience this paradise for passengers? Thank you for joining us. As always, we wish you safe and enjoyable flights.